apologies for this nostalgic video, but um, I'm taking a trip down memory lane and I want to bring you guys with me. Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So yeah, I don't know how this video will go down. I know uh, quite a few of you guys like the nostalgic stuff and the trips down memory lane and that's what this video is. So... If you watched my Marui Ninja first video, um, I spoke about um, when the actual magazine came out, the RC magazine I was subscribed to. It came out and it had the, that was the first time I saw the Ninja and it just blew me away. Well, from that video, um, Lyndon contacted me. A lot of you Facebook group guys will know Lyndon Creamer. Great guy. Um, he just messaged me straight after, or not straight after, but soon after, and says, S give me your address, I've got something for you. So um, I said, what is it? And he sent me a picture or something, I was like, oh wow. So he sent me this for free, from the UK to Canada. So Lyndon, I can't thank you enough. Um, so when this arrived, um, I had this, it says, hi Glenn, I, st I still remember the excitement I felt when the latest copy of Model Car Monthly came out. Now that's what I actually said on this first part of this video. And then he's just put enjoy. So let's just get this out of the wrapper. Get rid of down. So what's turned up is that now look at the condition that's in as well. So obviously this is a radio control model car magazine. So this is a magazine I was subscribed to. Obviously it's not just Marua, it, Tammy Kyosho, everything, Schumacher Team Associated, Yokomo, it did it all. Now just so you're aware, um, this model magazine, this is May 1987. <laughs> 1987, 33 year old magazine and it's in pristine condition. And it's got a price of £1.35. Um, now, that was a lot of money for me back then. Uh, I was 14, oh God, I'm saying I was 14. What did I say, 33 years ago, I should be able to, yeah, I was 13. 14, 13, 14. Um, I was doing three paper rounds at that point in my life. I had the um, I had the morning paper round, I had the evening paper round, and I also had the Sunday paper round. Uh, and that's what paid for things like this and some of my RC stuff. Um, but yeah, just so cool. Anyway, the purpose of this video was, um, this was never gonna be a video, but I got this and I just started opening it up and I was absolutely flooded with memories of nostalgia, just looking through these things and just seeing. And this is before the days of the internet, you've got to remember. Uh, there was no online buying, well, there was there was no internet, so all the adverts are in here. It's just packed full of adverts. Um, all you guys in the UK from, you know, Beatties, Otley Model Sport and all that, that's where we all got our information from. And then you went to the shops and you bought it and it's got prices and stuff and it's got really cool pictures. So when I was looking at it, I just kind of, I just, I got very, not emotional as such, but I got very, it, the nostalgia got me and I was like, this is cool, this warrants a little video. I, I know I'm, I'm probably the majority of you will think this is a pointless video, but the people watching who are like me and who who love the golden golden era of RC? You're gonna have a you're gonna enjoy having a quick flick through this. So let's get cracking. So obviously this is not gonna be the easiest thing to do on video, but um, let's give it a go. So obviously the name of the publication was Radio Control Model Cars. Do you guys remember now and again they used to give you the decals in certain magazines? How cool was that? I still see them kicking around. You don't see them for sale, but you see them on old cars. They were class to put on your uh, your cars. Then, as I say, there's a date, May 1987, with a value of £1.35. This was a monthly um, subscription to this magazine. This particular one's got the German and Nuremberg car show in it as well, um, latest development, so that's pretty cool. But obviously, that's the first time where I saw the Ninja, and I was just like, holy hell, what a thing that is. Uh, on the back of it, We've got a full page advert for the Futaba Attack 2 channel radio set. Now, I'm on the lookout for a set of them. So any of you guys watching who have a, has that set with a receiver and a couple of matching servos, get, uh, leave it in comments and I'll buy it from you if, if it's for sale because I'm, I'm really looking to have that set so I can, I can run a couple of cars on it. It's probably my favourite 
um, old school radio set that. I like the Acoms, um, Technic Plus, Technic Drive, whatever they were, but I just thought the Fuel Tiber Attack in that that mold is it was just excellent. So yeah, let me know if you've uh, got one. Right. So as I say, not it's not easy getting this on video, but we'll we'll give it a go. So opening the first page up, first advert there, Palmer match Sanyo cells. You know, do you remember going to? I, I remember going to Watley Model Sport, and they had all the various different cells, and you could either buy them buy them individually, and then with the battery tabs to solder up and the heat sink, make your own know, saddle packs, hump packs. That's how it was done, you know. Or people like Otley Model Sport for a, a cost would build you these these packs up. Very very cool. Look at that full team associated RC10 advert, and we all know. That's probably one of the most legendary, if not the most legendary, two-wheel drive buggy of all time out of the golden era of RC. I'm just sort of thinking, is there an, another one that I can think of? No, I think the RC10's probably got that title. SRM Racing, a lot of you will know those. God, I won't, I won't sort of stick on this. What's this one? JK, look at this advert here. So you got your Tam here. So how much is a 959? Don't tell you. Oh, the, the not, oh no, Porsche 959 was £134.95. Striker, to no, don't tell you. So the cheapest kit they did, Grasshopper two wheel drive was 44 quid. Hornet was 51. Falcon 63. Big wig, 147. Just think about that, guys. The big wig was 147.95. The Porsche 959 was 134.95. <laughs> wow that's incredible that that is incredible <clears throat> don't know that one but just looking at pictures it's got the it's got the ninja but it's actually got the picture of a ninja which was a white prototype one casho salu casho ultima mini mustang do you remember that one guys pb i had a pb mustang the sicca magnum never into those that's a um, nitro car. I'll speed up on the boringest bits, but you know it's just it's just full of information on how to do stuff. Testing, what the testing there? Some Le Mans car, the SG Mac Two conversion. Again, don't know that. On test, different radio sets. Morley models. Oh my God! You guys in the UK, especially from West Yorkshire, you're gonna know Gary and his dad from Morley models. That's incredible. I have spent an absolute fortune in this shop over the years. An absolute fortune. Just look at that. Cat, and that's a short wheelbase one as well. 175 quid. Optima, 120 quid basically. Or you can get the full combo deal for 185. Boomerang, Falcon, Big Wig. 7.2 volt deal. 224 quid or if you want to upgrade to the 8.4 deal 234 yeah sorry 224 pounds for 7.2 234 for the 8.4 dynamite aftermarket tires oh my god uh build servos you know this information here just like invaluable no internet remember guys no internet whatsoever tell me a factory visit you know, just, I'm going to obviously read through all this. Windsor Models, I'm guessing you guys know that. Nick's Kits. Oh, wow, just so cool. This is the Nuremberg car show, obviously. Tammy had just launched a Monster Beetle. The Strikers there. What else we got? We've got some trucks. SG Racing, I don't know these. Maure, Marue. I'm not sure what that car is, actually. Um, is that the... The cause no, it's not the cause melon. So I don't know, I don't know what that is. I'll have to have a read of that. And then on this magazine, the pages were quite flimsy, but when you get to this section where it goes to colour and it's actually a lot thicker. And then we've got um well, there's not many I recognise if I'm honest without reading, but where we've got the Kayasho Salute. Absolutely love that. Um Kayasho Ultima, Rocky, Cosmo. Pegasus, I think. I might be wrong. I don't know what the rest are. That must have been the, obviously, the Kayosho stand. <clears throat> and then we have a centre section for what this magazine was, the Marui Ninja, with some cool pictures. Again, I'm going to read up on all of this. Absolutely superb. 
close-ups and stuff. And within this, they'll have, they'll have ran it as well, and they'll tell you how it performed and what changes they made to it. I always remember, actually, when the Avanti came out, I was enthralled because I was I was just absolutely blown away with Vivante. And then when I read through all the bits I basically threw away with, <clears throat> excuse me, front tyres, um, the motor, and lots of other things, and to make it go around the track properly, I was pretty gutted. Um, more Wonderland models, that rings a bell. MRP Pro 110. Not sure what that is, if it's got anything to do with an RC10. It doesn't look like it. But they did, they've done a full article on that. That's very different looking. Don't know that one. Imagine having one of those now. Matt Dave Meteor. New UK guys should know Matt Dave the Meteor. And what was the other one? Um, oh my God, Meteor and Cobra. Cobra was my favourite. I, I, a lot of you guys have known me. Know I did a, a, an absolute spot on box art Cobra. Um, that was epic. Never run one though. That might be something I get on the channel um, eventually. Basically, the Mad Dave Meteor and Cobra were a really cheap entry level two wheel drive car. And to look at the chassis, it you know it was nothing, but um, they went around the tracks so okay. Yeah, I might have to uh, see if we can have a find one. Rally cross. Set up, guys. Do you remember those? These more about buggy. The guy, the Argos books, the buggy book, and the racing handbook. I've had both of them over the years. Very cool. Stock, stock cars, oval racing. They'll be petrol, no doubt. And then this is now we're into the back section. This was. This was your shop ads, Otley Model Sports here, look, Cheltenham Model Shop. <laughs> Bagnalls, wow. All blast from the past, this, look at Otley Model Sport. See if we can uh, get a little bit closer for you so you can see if we can get you some prices. So new Monster Beetle kit, 87 quid. New Striker, 58, 58 quid for a brand new Striker. We need a time machine, guys. RC10, 115. What else is it? Where's the, where's the big hitters? What did I say? This is 87, so yeah, the Avanti is not out yet. Ball race sets. These were dearer. Today were spoiled with cheap bearings. Back then in the day, Boomerang full bearing kit was 27 quid. Do you know how expensive that was back then? So just out of interest, the Boomerang, let's see if we can find it. So the Boomerang was 94 quid. But you'd have to put another 27 quid on for full bearings. That is insane. 36 quid for an RC10 bearing set. Look at motors. Let's see what we got here. Screamers, Scorchers, Demons. Oh my God. Palmer. You know, we're talking like the Demon, the, the black cam with that red, like hologramic, holographic um, red decal. The Palmer Cyclone motors. Def I'm really hoping to get a Palmer Cyclone modified on here soon. NICADs, SCR, red sticks, just better, just better cells. Twisters, Technigold, Technigold motor, 35 quid back in the day. Technipower, 27. Twisters, 40 quid. Wow. Obviously, they're all modified. Um, oh, just mega, mega cool. Let's bring this up a good bit. Very, very cool. Free competition to win a Maruri Ninja. I'm going to enter this. What the hell? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine if you actually entered that and it actually got somewhere. Because uh, I have no idea if this publication... I'm pretty certain this publication no longer exists and hasn't done for many years. But I, I could be way wrong. Can you imagine if that eventually found its way to someone and uh, you ended up getting some free care? That would be absolutely awesome. But just how cool is that? Very, very cool. And it's just different articles and, and things like that. Model Junction. Pit Stop, now, if you, you guys remember, this was always in the back couple of pages of the magazines. And this were just your small ads for all the, the, the model shops. Again, no internet. You need This is what you needed. You know, you looked... Um, at the top it tells you Cornwall, Kent, Lancashire. So you looked in your area and then found shops. Where I was, let's see if there's any guys from Bradford watching. Um, Model Drome was my model shop. The local one. Yeah, Model Drome. 
um, not 100% cars, but they did quite a bit. I think it was more aircraft. But yeah, model drum on um, Manningham Lane. Be really funny if any of you guys know what I'm talking about. If you do, stick it in the comments because that would be crazy. But my next part of call was um, Morley Models, and I don't think I ever went to Beatties back in the day. Believe it or not, that's terrible, isn't it? Middlesex, Somerset, where any West Yorkshire, Leeds, Flying Models, York Models, Morley, Halifax, Free Tower Models, just awesome. And then you had these really cool what, the um, the engines. That you could get so that was that so I'm sorry guys if this kind of stuff's not for you but it's kind of it, this is the stuff I want on the channel things like this I know they're not the most exciting videos to watch but stuff like that is why I'm doing this today you know you just it's like falling off a bike you just never lose it with RC and, and Tammy are special well not specially but Tammy is more what I'm into at the moment you know you, you see so many people come and go from a hobby but you always see them come back at some point and I've done that many times myself you know I can't remember the age I was when I saw my first RC car which was a my friend Richard who'd come back from Florida and he brought the he bought the grasshopper and it was the first time I saw a proper RC car without the the lead from the transmitter onto the car and you had to follow it about and you just had this amazing thing. It only had the 380 motor in at that time. And it was just this thing where you could make it go where you want. You know, I don't know what age I was there. Probably 12, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. I'd have to work it out. But as I say, you just, from that day, I kind of got into RC and Tamiya. But I'm 47 now. You know, there's been huge chunks of my life where I've not touched RC. Um, I've sold a massive collection two or three times completely fallen out with a hobby needed cash for real life issues you know but you always come back to it and that's the beauty of this hobby so um, yeah i'll say i'm apologizing but i'm not really um if you guys are still watching then you're equally into this stuff like i am and you appreciate it so anyway guys just something a little bit different i hope you enjoyed it so thanks again for watching it's really appreciated if you are new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us and if you do that smash that notification bell for our weekly videos and as always guys happy nostalgia